what is going on everybody welcome to gen one and uh as promised we've got our little udi arrow five out here big pond uh waters are really really calm which is super nice we don't get that a lot um we've got our massive 160 amp which is massive for this boat 160 amp 8s esc we're gonna turn it on here and uh we wanna we wanna try at least three props here today uh but i don't know because these uh batteries they're uh 2200 milliamp 4s packs and uh they're really small so i don't know if we're gonna do that we're gonna start with the uh three blade 45 millimeter prop here track start stop read she's on zero track start okay all right that was full throttle it looks like it's running <laughs> All right, so that's just on that 45 millimeter three blade. And I do want to try another prop on her. So let's see here. Like I said, guys, I have no idea what she's going to get for us here. Oh man, don't tell me I lost a signal. 60 miles an hour. <laughs> I mean, not bad, uh, you know, clean little passes, but let's see let's see if we can throw a different prop on her and see what else she can get so we swapped from that 45 millimeter to a 42 millimeter three blade all right and we're gonna reset this she's on zero track start all right movement all right power cuts All right, I think maybe the batteries already got discharged with that big 45. So we're gonna have to try a smaller prop on her here. All right, so we threw on a 48 millimeter prop two blade. Uh, we're done with the three blades now. So stop, read, of course we didn't get nothing there. She's on zero track start all right movement all right and uh we burned something up you can see it's smoking all right so like i said guys this is not something i recommend but uh <laughs> let's see here hopefully we just burn you know a little connector or something nothing too serious all right let's see let's see what we got here <laughs> why did we burn up right damn gen one Woo! she's smoking what was it? Let's see. All right, I think the motor. What? Yeah, the motor burned up, baby. <laughs> Let's see what the speed was with the two blade, huh? Dang, that was slow. Stop, read, 53. So definitely not worth it, guys. Definitely not worth it. You can get speeds like that and better on the success, all right? So uh, we'll definitely grab another motor if that's what we need. But she's really hot. She's really hot. So we're gonna try to pull some of these batteries out of here. All right. Woo, that motor's hot. All right, batteries seem to be okay as far as the eye can see. So uh, as far as right now, all we can really see that looks pretty bad is the motor, uh, which is okay. These motors are not super expensive. Right, so I think <laughs> we got her back home and uh, yeah, she clearly burned up. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. And uh, this this was supposed to be, and I'm still using the stock motor mount. I just uh, modified it, so I put some bushings in it, 
and uh, so it still holds the water in there, still flows the water. It doesn't leak anything. Um, that that was a little difficult to do. Uh, I don't know that I want to do a video on that because you know I think they have so many mother up. Uh, sorry, <laughs> so many other options uh, for these motor mounts on these. Things. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's the swap right there. This is our uh, old motor. Uh, we soldered on the connectors we're using the same connectors i'm i'm out of six millimeter bullets right now but uh these should work fine they don't look the greatest i know but uh they should work okay um stock motor mount modified uh we used the same uh call it there so uh we're gonna go ahead and drop it back in and uh hopefully if we have some time tomorrow we'll do another eight ass pass all right stay tuned all right so we made it back to the water and uh you guys, for all you crazies out there, what's the suit? What's the suit? What's the suit? <laughs> you get tired of hearing that, right? Uh, so, we replaced our 22, 2200 kV motor, which these things have nothing on it. All right, no writings or anything, so they can send me whatever they want, supposedly. I mean, I don't know. Um, to a 1800 kV which uh you know the lower kV higher voltage you can run and so forth you guys know the rest all right so there's the 160 she fits in there pretty nice now I will tell you guys this is a lot heavier than when I was running the smaller ESC on 6s so I'm gonna be honest with you guys uh there's probably not gonna be like a super super big difference with this setup from the 6s just because it's so much heavier this thing is pretty heavy and uh these batteries right here are really small these are really small 2200 milliamp uh 4s packs um that's all i can stuff in there for right now until i you know do some more modifications in here and get a real tray in there all right so uh let's go ahead and see what she gets us here we'll power it on zero miles an hour looks good to me do we have throttle looks good steering looks good to me all right baby do us something good in this ripple water and it's already cutting out All right, it's full throttle. All right, we're gonna bring her in because definitely, definitely don't wanna blow another motor here. All right, if this one isn't uh, already Unfortunately, going. I don't have any more motors to blow with this one. I'm gonna have to order something else. But because we do have that ESC in there, uh, I'm gonna see what other motors I have maybe an in runner. I'm gonna tell you because this is an outrunner Oh, man, I did want to check that man uh, Let's see if this thing will self right being this heavy Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. That's pretty damn crazy. Wow. So it'll still self right. That's really cool So we'll check the speed on that and we'll also check the temps all right, so speed real quick. All right, there's movement. And uh, stop, read, 52. Eh, I mean, like I said, definitely, definitely don't need uh, 8S to go that, those speeds. I mean, we were getting past that easy on 6S, all right? So uh, let's see what we can do here. We'll check her right, temps. So something is smoked out in here uh my guess would be it's the motor okay so we're gonna grab this all right so we're showing about 79 81 where are the connectors connectors batteries 90 other connectors 64 esc 76 on the esc right there all right so let's see right here 122 on the motor there so about i mean i'm seeing a high of like 122 the wires oh wow all right so here's our hottest point right here is the wires all right look at that 155 degrees on these little wires but you can't you cannot change the wires on this little motor 
all right that's just how they're wine uh they're wound like that you know uh from the inside so yeah uh i i don't think this these little motors right here are not gonna be good for 8s i think they do have bigger uh so i think these are supple motors uh that you can probably run 8s but with the stock motor mount and stuff that i have here uh, i don't think we're going to be able to fit a bigger motor in there that could probably handle the 8s um but yeah i you know just wanted to do it because i could you know because i can and uh threw it 8s and you don't need it it's not necessary 6s this boat will do 60 plus all day long uh you know you got uh guys out there like keith richard and uh, angelo rambala that's uh you know hitting over 60 with this little boat uh pretty easy on success all right so uh thank you guys for tuning in and uh don't forget to like and subscribe and uh please join us for more super cool super fun videos gen one out